Hey guys, welcome back, and we are on the landing of the fifth stage, the second landing of the fifth stage. Um, so, you know what we do at the landing, we talk to the sheep and see what they say. Uh, hopefully there's an interesting plot point, and if not, it's just talking to sheep like a crazy person. But this game has been crazy thus far, so I guess it really isn't that big of a surprise. Anyway, um, let's see what these sheep say. What's up? So I guess I'll name this guy Ty because he's wearing a tie. I know, pretty clever. Uh, it seems like there's been some drama as a uh, Pompadour is over there just crying. Oh, crying and doing his hair at the same time, which is admirable. I can't cry and do my hair at the same time. It's uh, it's pretty complicated. Tonight's product is the black cube creates a dark block in front of you. The mystic pillow gives you an extra retry. I don't really think we need any more pillows, seeing how we have 32 of them. And I don't really think a black cube is all that useful. So... No, I don't know. Huh? You think the... So far, the items have been Hello. pretty useless, but... Let's see. Uh, let's talk to Ascot. Anna, I'm reaching the limits of my ability. Hey, do you wish for your loved one to be happy? Well, of course. Even if it Duh. makes you unhappy? These will work out. So, you're an idealist then. If it's impossible to marry her, then it's best for her if we break up. What? But I love her. I have to tell her. Tomorrow. Let's just focus on getting out of here before you start thinking about what you're gonna do. So, I don't act exactly know why trying to make both of us happy apparently makes it so that I am an evil and terrible person. But if that's true, I guess I am an evil and terrible person. Uh, I guess you can't win in this game even if you try to be happy and be a good guy at the same time. Apparently that doesn't exist. Thank you, Atlas, for judging all of my decisions who is the woman i left yesterday and the day before she was laughing hysterically as she chased me seriously hello so i like to talk to all the unimportant sheep first because i know they're not going to give me any sort of useful information i made it this far i didn't do anything it was all you don't you get it? Everybody's pumped up because of you. Even me. I've been looking into climbing techniques because of you. All these sheep are running around like chickens. But we're a team now. Oh, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm thankful for you. Wow, he's thankful for me. That's really great. Apparently, I am the Lance Armstrong of climbing blocks. So, I guess that's cool. Or the god of sheep. We've come this far. Either way, I guess I can uh, accept that position. Oh, I really like this uh, environment design. Everything is made of ice. The seats are made of ice. Signs are made of ice. The plants are made of ice. Uh, that's about it. Glass is still glass, though. So, I guess that's good. Oh, I'm psycho. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Hey, it's for horses. The sheep told me about are really useful. I'm gonna rest here for a second, then go back and learn some more. Why are you off by yourself, Bob? Hey, aren't you gonna talk about techniques? Whatever. It's here. Huh? Up above. It's gonna be there. Dad, he's... He's gonna kill me. With his axe. Like he used to. What do you mean? What would you rather be called? Maggot or little shit? Huh? I prefer little maggot. maggot. At least that's still a living creature. I never had a name. I was always called one of those. Hell, even that changed. Eventually, I didn't even exist. I was abandoned. I guess I can't help it if I'm worthless. It's not true, man. I know. He's not a good father. But even if you know that, 
it still holds a child back. Even now that he's dead, and I'm older than he ever was. Anyway, let's go. He shows up later on, then settle things with him. Your naivete is pretty annoying. All right, I'm going. My naivete, apparently. Oh uh, well, deep sea issues the game. I'm glad you're safe. All right, let's talk to uh, Mustache and Glasses. Hello. Please try talking with that man over there, the sheep with the big hair and the cigar. We talk about our techniques whenever we meet up. Kind of weird. For people who live by their reactions like him, stopping to reflect on himself can be dangerous. I'm glad you're safe. Hey, it's you. Well, you got any new techniques to give me? Let's put our heads together to survive. First, let me give you a little move that I thought of. Allow me to explain the Geronimo. Interesting. When you fall from a stone, you can catch yourself if there's a place you can grab it. If you see a spot that you can grab, you can then let go without any fear. Well, was that at least slightly useful? Oh, I just had an idea. What do you think of this? Allow me to explain controlled demolition. When you are confronted with okay. stones that form a level above your head like a roof, try pushing the support stones to collapse it. Consider which blocks you need to push to cause the blocks you want to fall. Then climb onto the collapsed roof. Wow, that's great. And very practical. I think I'll try using that next time. You Wonderful. Want to review your techniques? Nope, I'm fine. Hey guys, but I gotta go. <clears throat> What's up? You've got a unique way of climbing. Like, you'd use that technique here? You're a sharp thinker, and quick. Huh, really? The others are talking about you. They want to be like you. Mm. Let's both do our best. Well, apparently I have sheep followers. I guess it's nice to have fans. Uh, something that I can't possibly relate to. Oh, maybe if I was just this pretty. And had horns. And a pillow. Alright, so we are going to our very important question time. One adult, please. Oh, you're awfully bold today. Just sit. Nahaha. <laughs> Cause I'm joking. That was very impressive. Not only that, you've led the other sheep this far. Is it best to live a life of no responsibility? <laughs> well, with no Which responsibility, one? then there is nothing that actually makes you rise to the occasion, and that means that you this live one? without consequences. So, no. That's well, dumb. You're going with that? Okay. By the way, Getting much further than this won't be an easy feat. You should give up. Save yourself the pain. You're just trying to scare me because I'm so close to the top. It's not like that. Ooh, getting I bold, think you I know see. Already what exactly is chasing you? <sighs> like I said before, you'll face true hell tonight. No matter what happens, escaping's the only way to survive. I have to do it. Okay, then let's go. Okay. Then I'll be over soon too. This isn't serious at all. Alright guys, and we're getting close to the end of the video, but we shall see what other people say about responsibility. So, there are a lot of responsible people out there, and a uh, lot of kids, I'm assuming they're kids, that uh, think that having a life of no responsibility is great. It would be great, but also it is not realistic and thus does not exist. Sorry. Um, anyway, this is the end of this video. I will see you in the final stage 
of the fifth stage, which is really confusing. But anyway, you should understand what I'm saying. Anyway.